So we're going to take a look at the operation of this SCR under a lightly loaded situation. Have a look at its behavior. And here's the uh, circuit that we're going to be using. Uh, we have 5 volts supply. We've got our 1K resistor here for uh, current limiting for the LED. We have our LED down in here. We have the SCR, the silicon control rectifier, and that's this one right here. And we have a 10K potentiometer, which is right here. And that's going to vary the voltage for us to the gate. And we're going to have a quick look at the operation of this and some of the oddities, that we'll call it, when uh, you get this lightly loaded with an SCR. Uh, as I adjust the voltage to the gate, you'll watch the LED will s start to turn on, but it won't go fully on um, like you would normally expect with an SCR. There it's turned on a tiny bit, then you'll all of a sudden see it bright and there it goes. Now that that SCR is now fully activated. This one though being as lightly loaded as it is, if I take and turn the uh, potentiometer back down to ground again, this will actually go out, which it shouldn't do. An SCR once it comes on should basically stay that way. So we'll get the scope fired up here and I'll show you uh, some of the things that it's doing. So I have the scope set up and we're going to have a look at, uh, we're going to use channel 1 here, the yellow and that's basically going to be our trigger. It's what's going to go and activate the scope once we get a certain situation. But it's the gate voltage here, the blue channel, channel 2, that we're quite interested in to see uh, what sort of gate voltage this requires to trigger the SCR. So I'll start giving it some voltage across the gate and we'll watch it come on slowly and then all of a sudden it triggers. And we can see on our trace here that we've got a kind of a curve right here and ideally that wouldn't be that way this would be straight across it actually starts tapering over here but this would go straight across and then all of a sudden down when that SCR activated and you can even see the gate voltage here starts to go up and just coincidentally you can just barely see the blue trace underneath the yellow one right here they just happen to be uh, coincidentally uh, in the same spot here even though their scales are different but if I go over to the blue one and get that get that scale up if I see the 600 millivolt scale here you can see that it started it switched here basically just shy of 600 millivolts is the gate voltage that's required to turn this SCR on so I've modified our circuit slightly I've put a 100 ohm resistor in here uh, you can see it goes from the 5 volts down to the anode of the SCR so that'll give us some more current through it it's still not a lot of current for what this SCR can handle but that 100 ohms will provide significantly more than the 1.8 milliamps that goes through here when we don't have that in there so let's have a look at uh, have a look at its operation so as I start turning the voltage up you'll see that the LED will be basically just turn on it doesn't go to that there it is it just turns on and we can see the action in the scope is the same thing it shows us right here we have our five volts coming across and then when we get to the trigger voltage here it, which is still just shy of uh, 600 millivolts about 0.6 of a volt the SCR triggers on and uh, we see our yellow trace come down here uh, we know our, we see our notice that our traces are slightly different this time. That's because, of course, we got we're pulling a bit more current here. And another thing that happens here too is that uh, when I go back to zero on this potentiometer, that still stays on. It there's enough current going through there now that putting this down to putting the gate down to ground isn't going to make it uh, go off. And I can just take that pot out of there altogether, and uh, the SCR stays on, which is what it should be doing. And to reset that SCR, what we're going to do is we're going to take and turn the power off to it. 